let's talk about LH tissue forceps this is a picture showing LH tissue forceps now identifying points the blades are longer and there is a gap between the blades the tip of the blades are provided with sharp teeth with groups in between when the ratchet is closed the teeth of the one blade fits in the globe of the other blade and vice versa uses during laparotomy through midline incision skin margins may be retracted by applying LH tissue forceps to the skin margin while linear alba is incised while closing the midline incision, the linear alba may be held up by LH tissue forceps during suturing. It is used during thyroid operations and neck dissection. It is used to hold the skin margin during, during incisional hernia operations to raise the skin flaps. It may be used to hold the margins of faster, faster glab while dissecting the hernia sac. It is used to hold the cut margins of the bladder during transvesical prostatectomy or suprapubic cystolithotomy. Sterilization. It is done sterilized by autoclaving. Let's talk about Babcock's tissue forceps. Here is a figure, a diagram showing the Babcock's tissue forceps. So, what are the identifying points? The terminal part of the blades are curved and fenestrated. The tip is provided with a ridge in one blade and group in the other. When the ratchet is closed, the bridge of one blade fits into the group of the other blade. As there are no teeth, this is a non-traumatic forceps. The fenestration in the blade allows some soft tissue to be accommodated in the hollow while holding it. Uses It is used during appendicectomy. It is used during small and large intestinal resection and stomosis to hold the margins of the gut before applying an intestinal occlusion clamp. It is used during gastrostomy or jejunostomy to hold the gut while applying pore string suture. It is used during cold co, cold, sorry, cold co duodenostomy to hold the duodenum before making an incision in the first part of the duodenum. It is used during gastrectomy, gastrojejunostomy to hold the margins of the stomach while applying an occlusion cap. It is used to hold the cut margins of the bladder during transvesical prostatectomy or suprapubic cystolithotomy. Sterilization. It is sterilized by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about Bart Parker's handles and surgical blades. Here is a figure showing Bart Parker's handle along with the surgical blades. So, about Bart Parker's handles. Bart Parker's handle is a flat stainless steel instrument with one end narrowed on the other side for attaching the scalpel blade. A number is written on the handle. The numbers may be 3, 5, 7 and 4. In the scalpel handle number 4, the side for attachment of the blade is little wider than the handle number 3, 5 and 7 where it is narrower. This instrument is sterilized by autoclaving mechanism. Now surgical blades. The blades are detachable and a new blade is used for every patient. The blades number 10, 11, 12 and 15 fit in BP handle number 3, 5. And the blades number 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24 fit in BP handle number 4. It is sterilized with the uh, with pre-sterilized pack uses of bp handle and blade it is used to make skin incisions for any operation the blade numbers 20 21 22 23 and 24 have wide shaft and are used for larger incisions and dissections the blade number 15 has a narrow shaft and is used for a smaller incision while accessing a severe cyst or during venesection it is used for incision and drainage of an abscess the blade number 11 is also known as step knife and is used to incise the skin for drainage of abscess. It is used to incise the skin for inserting drains. Let's talk about cold cystectomy forceps. This is a picture showing different types of cold cystectomy forceps. Identifying points. They have finger bouts and catch. There is a pair of long, long shafts with a pair of relatively small blades with blunt tips. In Moini hands forceps, the blade is slightly angled to the shaft and there are transverse serrations in the blade. In Henry Gray's forceps, the blade is longer than in the Moini Hans forceps, which is angled at almost right angle to the shaft and there are critical serrations in the blade. Uses It is used during cold cystectomy. The cystic duct and artery may be dissected by Moini Hans forceps. Sterilization These are sterilized by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about 
divorce retractor. This is a picture showing divorce retractor. Identifying points. It is a large curved retractor which is shaped like S. It is available in different sizes depending on its width. Uses. It is used during truncal vagotomy for retraction of the left lower liver. It is used during kidney operation to retract the abdominal wall. It is used during pancreatic jejunostomy for retraction of stomach. It is used during cholecystectomy for retraction of right lobe of liver. It is used during right or left hemicolectomy to retract the abdominal wall while mobilizing the colon from the paracolic gutter. It is used during anterior resection of rectum or abdominal perineal resection to retract the urinary bladder in male or uterus in female during dissection in the pelvis. It is used during gastrectomy for retraction of liver. Sterilization. It is sterilized by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about Heath's suture cutting scissors. This is a picture showing Heath's suture cutting scissors. So, identifying points. This is a fine scissors carved on angle type. The blades are small, sharp, and at the tip there are serrations. The serrations at the tip allow gripping of the suture material. Uses. This is used to cut the sutures on the skin or mucosa surface. The serration at the tip of the blade helps in holding up the suture during removal. Sterilization. By keeping them, them dipped in concentrated lysol for 1 hour or in dilute lysol for 24 hours. Let's talk about hemostatic forceps. This is a picture showing different types of hemostatic forceps. First of all, Spencer Wells hemostatic forceps are provided with finger bows, racket, a pair of shaft and a pair of blades. The blades are usually half the length of the shaft. The full length of the blades are provided with transfer serrations. The tips are conical and non-tooth. When the racket is closed, the blades are approached. Kelly's hemostatic, hemostatic forceps are longer, the blades are long and the transfer serrations are not present along the whole length of the blades. Adson's hemostatic forceps the blades are smaller in comparison to the shaft and the transfer serrations are present in the terminal part of the blades. The difference between hemostatic forceps and needle holder. The hemostatic forceps is a lighter instrument and the blades are longer and there are transfer serrations in the blade. But the needle holder is a relatively heavier instrument. The blades are smaller and there are crisscross serrations in the blade and there may be a group in the center of each blade. The use of hemostatic forceps. It is used during all operations. It is used to hold the bleeding vessels while cutting through different layers of tissues. During appendicectomy through McBurney's grade iron incision, the hemostatic forceps may be used to spread the internal oblique and transverse abdominis muscle. It may be used to cross the base of the appendix during appendicectomy. While, going internal, while, going, while doing intestinal resection and stomosis, the mesenteric vessels are held in between hemostatic forceps and the desired line of mesentery is divided. While making abdominal incisions and during the closure of the incision, the hemostatic forceps is used to hold the cut margins of the rectus sheath, linea alba, external oblique aponeurosis, and the surgical peritoneum. It may be used for blunt dissection while doing lymph node biopsy, excision of the lipoma, and sebaceous cyst. It may be used to open an abscess by Hilton's method. Sterilization is done by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about Kutcher's hemostatic forceps. This is a picture showing medium sized curved and straight Kutcher's hemostatic forceps. Identifying points. The blades are slightly longer than in a Spencer Wells type of hemostatic forceps. At the tip of the blades, there is a tooth in one blade and a groove in the other blade where the tooth fits when the racket is closed. Uses. It is used during appendicectomy operation to cross the base of appendix. It is used to hold the meniscus during meniscectomy. It is used for holding vessels in the scalp while raising a skin flap for craniotomy. It is used to hold perforating vessels during mastectomy. During subtotal thyroidectomy, a series of Kutcher's hemostatic forceps are applied around the margin of thyroid gland lobe before the accession of the enlarged thyroid lobe. It is used to hold bleeding vessels while operating on palm and sole. It is used in obst obstetrics for artificial rupture of membrane. Sterilization is done by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about lens paired gastrojejunostomy clamps. This is a picture showing lens paired gastrojejunostomy clamp. Identifying points. This is a paired instrument. Each instrument is provided with 
finger bows, a catch, a pair of shaft and a pair of long blades provided with longitudinal serrations. Near the tip of one instrument, there is a hook which fits the other blade and there is an arrangement of screw in the other blade which fixes the adjacent blade. When properly applied, the two instruments are kept side by side keeping the stomach and jejunum opposed. This instrument may be curved or straight. Uses It is used during gastrojejunostomy. Sterilization It is sterilized by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about lenses, tissue forceps. This is a picture showing lenses, tissue forceps. Identifying points This is a thick and heavy instrument. The terminal part of the blades are curved and fenestrated. At the tip, there is a heavy tooth in one blade which groove in the other blade and with the racket in the closed position. The tooth and the groove in the blade fits in. Uses It is used during submandibular or pantry gland excision to hold the gland during dissection from the adjacent structures. During mastectomy, it may be used to hold the breast while dissecting it from the pectoral fossa. It may be used to fix the dripping sheets. Sterilization is done by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about Langenbach's retractor. This is a picture showing single bladed and double bladed Langenbach's retractor. Identifying points The single bladed Langenbach's retractor has a handle, a long shaft, and a blade. The blade is curved at right angle to the shaft. The tip of the blade is curved at right angle for better retraction of the tissues. In double bladed, double bladed retractor, there is another flat solid blade at the other end of the shaft. Uses Retractors play suitably help in better visualis visualization of the operative field. The tissue handling may also be minimized and the bleeding may be better seen and controlled with placement of retractors. Let's talk about Mayoth scissor. This is a picture uh, this is a picture showing Mayoth scissors. These are the lung and stout scissors. Uses It is used for cutting scissors, used to cut off structures like linea alba, external oblique aponeurosis, anterior and posterior rectus sheath during intrusion into the abdomen by a midline paramedian or subcostal incision. It is used during appendicectomy to split the internal oblique and transverse abdominis muscle. It may be used to cut a corrugated rubber sheet drain. It may be used to cut dressings. Let's talk about McIndo scissors. This is a picture showing McIndo scissors. Identifying points. The blades are delicate and is smaller than in Mayo scissors. These are used for dissection and cutting delicate structures. In Mason bomb scissors, the blades are long in comparison to the shaft. Uses It is used during appendicectomy to cut the external oblique neoponeurosis and peritoneum. It is used during thyroidectomy. It is used during mastectomy and incisional hernia operation to raise the skin flap by sharp dissection. It is used during herniography. It is used during radical neck dissection to raise skin flaps by sharp dissection. It is used during splenectomy, nephrectomy to cut the pedicles after ligature. It is used during cholecystectomy to cut the cystic duct and the artery after they are ligated. Let's talk about Mesenbaum's scissors. This is a picture showing Mesenbaum's scissors. Identifying points. This is a long fine scissors with a long blades in comparison to the shaft of the instrument. This may be curved or straight. Uses. The measuring bomb scissors are used for dissection at the depth. It is used during bagotomy to divide the knobs after ligature and used during cholecystectomy to divide the cystic duct and artery after ligature. Let's talk about Morris retractor. This is a picture showing Morris retractor. Identifying points. The design is like the letter L. The handle is wider and the blade is also wider. The lower end of the blade is curved inward at Red angle. Uses. These retractors are used for tissue retraction during different operations. Used while making and closing different abdominal incisions for ease of working in deeper layers of the abdominal wall. These are used during thyroidectomy to retract the strap muscles and the sternum mastoid for dissection and ligation of the thyroid vessels. Used during appendicectomy to retract the layers of the abdominal wall while making the incision. Used during inguinal hernia operation for retraction of the different layers of proper visualization during repair of the posterior wall of the inguinal canal. 
used during modified radical mastectomy for retraction of the pectoralis major muscle for better visualization during axillary dissection. Used during radical neck dissection for retraction of the skin flaps, sternocleidomastoid muscle for better visualization at depth. Sterilization. These retractors are sterilized by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about mosquito hemostatic forceps. This is a picture showing curved and straight mosquito hemostatic forceps. Identifying points. This is a very light, small and delicate instrument. The blades are smaller in comparison to Spencer Wells type of hemostatic forceps and there are fine transverse serrations in the blades. The tip of the blades are conical and are non-tooth. Uses. It is used to hold fine bleeding vessels during cleft lip operation. Used at homeostatic forceps for operations in infants and children where the vessels are delicate. Used during circumcision. While doing appendicectomy, the major appendix is punctured at an avascular site by a mosquito forceps. While inverting the base of the appendix by a porous string structure, the stump of the appendix is held by mosquito forceps. Sterilization Sterilization is done by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about needle holders. This is a picture showing different types of needle holders. Identifying points The blades of the needle holder are smaller in comparison to the shaft. There are crisscross serrations in the blade and there is a longitudinal group in the center of the crisscross serration which allows firm gripping of the needle. However, the group may not be there in all needle holders. The blades of the needle holders may be fine or heavy. Uses These are used to hold the needle for suturing. The needle holders are used in all operations for suturing. The needle holders with fine blades are used to hold fine needles. The small size needle holders are used for suturing on the surface. The long needle holders are used for suturing at the depth inside the abdomen, pelvis or chest. The curved needle holders are used for suturing in a cavity or at a depth for better visualization. Sterilization is done by autoclaving mechanism. Let's talk about plane dissecting forceps. This is a picture showing different types of plane dissecting forceps. Identifying points. There are groups on the shaft of the instrument. The two limbs of the shaft are so designed that it provides a spring action and the blades are kept apart. There are transfer serrations at the tip of the blades. There are no tooth at the tip. The plane dissecting forceps are also available as small and long plane dissecting forceps. Uses It is used during appendicectomy to bring out the cecum and to deliver the appendix when it is held by the Babcock's tissue forceps. Used to hold blood vessels nerves during dissection. It is used during gastrojejunostomy, gut resection and stomosis to hold the gut margin during suturing. It is used to hold the peritoneum during closure of the midline or paramedian abdominal incision. It is used during nerve repair and vascular and stomosis. Sterilization is achieved by autoclaving mechanism. Welcome. Let's talk about Kelly's rectal speculum or proctoscope. This is a picture showing proctoscope. Identifying points. The instrument is about 3 inches long. There is a hollow outer sheath where a handle is attached. The terminal end of the sheath is either round or obliquely cut. The inner rod is called the obturator and its terminal part is smooth and rounded and fits well with the outer sheath. Uses. The proctoscope may be used for diagnostic or therapeutic purposes. Diagnostic use includes diagnosis of piles, carcinoma of anal canal or rectum, and anal or rectal polyp, the internal opening of a perianal fistula, the apex of an intersusception, diagnosis of ulcerative colitis. The therapeutic uses includes used during injection cellular therapy of piles, used while taking a biopsy from a rectal or an anal growth, and is used during polypectomy. Let's talk about toothed dissecting forceps. This is a picture showing different types of toothed dissecting forceps. Identifying points. It is same as, as the plane dissecting forceps, <coughs> but there is tooth at the tip. And there is a group at the tip of the other blade. When the blades are approximated, the toothed tip fits into the group. Uses. It is used during almost all operations to hold tough structures like skin, fascia, and aponeurosis. It is used to hold the cut skin margins during suturing. It is used to hold the linea alba or the rectus sheath during closure of abdominal incision. 
It is used to hold the scalp during closure of scalp incision. Sterilization is achieved by autoclaving mechanism. End of the topic.